The Al Salvado Red Dog Memorial Track and Field Meet took place on May 16th at Tower Park in Fort Thomas. The meet was named in honor of the late Al Salvado, who died this past February 27th at the age of 56. Highlands track coach Tiger Thompson talks about what Salvato meant to the Bluebird program. He was a booster at Highlands. He helped out with the track. We couldn't have done this meet without him. Anything that ever needed to be done at the school, either in track or soccer, he was always there. He was always willing to volunteer his time. Every year at the Junior Olympics, he and I would go down and, and run their meet, do the times and that. And so this year, we've added the name Al Salvato to the meet to, to honor him, but more to honor us by putting his name on our meet. As a tribute to Al, we have put in this year a little obelisk with a bell on it, a starter's bell for each of the track meets. We will have a ring the bell with Al's name on it. He was always the starter at all of our meets, and so we thought this was kind of a fitting tribute to him. Al loved being with people, and especially the kids, and Al was a great mentor to the kids. Every year, he and I would take some kids down to the Bluegrass Games, and, and we would both run and participate, but mainly it was, you know, to get the kids down there, to get them interested in sports, and in soccer, he did the same thing with the, many of the soccer players, and as I said, anything we ever needed done here at the track, we could always count on Al, and without him these past few years, I don't know how we would have gotten this meet organized and, and carried off every year. As for Thompson's favorite memory of Salvato? Uh, probably be best not to mention that. <laughs> but really, the, the thing I remember most about Al is, again, we would go down to the Bluegrass Games every year. And it was just the way everyone knew him. And he was friendly with everyone. And, and everyone thought that, you know, he was their great friend. And the kids, I mean, they would respond to him. The kids would always, anything they needed, he was always there for them. And the free publicity, Al was a writer for the Kentucky Post, and he taught journalism over at the University of Cincinnati, and he was always there encouraging the kids, writing about them, and again, they see their names in the newspaper and that, and that's always a great inducement for them to continue on with athletics.